well, we figured out, yeah, I was going to say, we figured out fabric is worth like 300 or 400. The golem cores are perfect. That's the perfect price. The foundry rests, um, I, I paid, somebody paid 50 for one and they said it was too cheap. So I raised it. The ancient pots are good. So if I hit journal, um, and we go over. So we figured out a couple prices, like it's still too cheap at 200 for the fabric, which is crazy. This is 250. I don't know. Anyways, foundry rests, everything, these are too cheap. I'm selling the ancient pots and the foundry rests for too cheap. Golem cores, 100 is perfect. I haven't really tried much else. And as you can see, my inventory is kind of full at this point. I'm trying to organize it. So I think we need to go to the dungeons. So merchants go into the dungeons and try and figure out where everything is and try to get good materials. So, so far so good. Let's try day two of the dungeon. We uh, actually are making pretty good money at, the at this point. That didn't help much. <laughs> One second. Here's that. Fix that should fix it. It was just really loud. I do love the music though. Okay. So let's go. I'm gonna go this way. Tools keep disappearing. Nice to know. I am facing the wrong way for this. And chest. Artifact must be placed to the left or the right of the bag. Okay, so weird. leave until I kill this and I want to go back to that room and see if I'm right and that's a healing room and I now have enough stuff that I can go back let's see if this room heals like I think it does it only works once I'll try one more room Kind of cheap. Sneak in on the corner so I don't actually get hit. These are nice. These are nice things that I'm getting. Okay. And I'm going to call it here before I get in too deep and end up dying. Plus, you can't sell that many items. You really can't. Um, like, I can sell items that I know how much they are in bulk, but I don't feel comfortable selling other items in bulk yet because I still haven't figured out, like, and I don't know what any of these are price-wise. So I guess we open shop. I'm pretty sure the first couple days are probably going to be me figuring out, okay, you know, how much do I sell this for? Too expensive. 
These tieflings are not worth very much. Let's go five, because I like even numbers. Okay, so this is still too expensive. So maybe this is five as well. And she made the this is too cheap thing at this at a hundred. So let's go three hundred. Fabric's still too cheap at four hundred? No, it's too expensive now. But that tiefling is now good. Okay. So we're just balancing trying to figure out what everything is and that's perfect for jellies fantastic so we now have jelly prices figured out which means I can shove all my jellies here we now have teeth thing prices figured out which means I can shove all my teeth things here it's not much but I can get rid of them out of my inventory basically is where I'm going 300 Still too expensive. So is it is it 250? Because 200 was too cheap. Wait, 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 wait. Let's change this price real quick to 250 just because I'm terrified. Because I'd rather sell it a little cheap and figure that out. I know a tiefling's are the perfect price. That's still too expensive at 250. Okay. Keep that, and then we'll sell. Ooh, we can't sell bulk though. We're not supposed to sell bulk, otherwise people won't pay as much. Let's we'll sell the vines for ten. Yay! More more jelly sold. And I'm thinking I'm gonna sell. I'm, I feel like the power and crystal is probably not a good one to sell immediately. Oh, and we have two fabrics, so. I want to sell one of these water spheres for 200 to see if that works. We almost have enough to buy a- to have a new shop come in. Too expensive at 10. Alright. So we're gonna knock this down to 5. Say, you know, maybe there's a whole bunch of stuff you sell for 5 that you get a bunch of. a good price? Nope. Still too- See, but these were- These were selling like hotcakes earlier, I thought. Alright, we had a good day. We're at 1500 total. I kind of want to go to the board. Investments shop. Merchants and decorators that please the customer as well as additional space for the items. Don't entice customers to add an extra 10% when paying. These are really expensive. Alright, so we're not going to go to that. However, we invest in the town. A forge to be reckoned with. We now have a blacksmith. Nice. Oh, that's a little builder guy who comes and builds stuff. Okay, cool. You must be Will, the one who requested my forge. Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's a weapon or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place to go. So we need to save up some of our materials. So we need to save up the cloths and the... Okay, so we need to get parts to build better armor. That makes sense. Alright, well I'm gonna do one more night here real quick. We're actually doing pretty good on money. Keeping a backup just in case something happens in this game and you like need to have a certain amount of money, which I don't know why you would, but... Uh, better to be too, you know, too safe rather than sorry. So let's get this going. 
something new. Today marks my first step into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renica, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater, and they have quite unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. They seem to build themselves around one thing, a unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. If no one currently inside the dungeon, does it exist? Um... Where do these dungeons come from? So why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm here for the how and the why. So we're supposed to figure out like what all is in here and eventually, supposedly, we're supposed to unlock the fifth door because people keep mentioning it. Okay, that's a heal. I don't need the heal. Why do I- oh, we've already seen this. We've been inside this room before. may need this room soon because ouchies those guys hurt ow 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 okay I cannot get hit again we made it we made it we made it, we made it. Um, this has to be on the far side so weird that they set these specifications for stuff. I mean, oops, wrong thing. There we go. But I could have done that actually. I know we've gotten enough stuff to make us happy, but I want to heal and keep going. Oh, boss room. room was not prepared for boss room you could still escape out of a boss room oh thank the lord that would have been really bad if we couldn't um okay so that's a boss room that's a thing we don't want to encounter at the moment um i don't have the time or the oh goodness Let's go open the shop real quick. Come in and buy my wares so that I can afford to do things. Awesome. Pots are worth 100 each. Um, we don't need... Cores, to my knowledge. So let's put the cores out. Perfect, and we found out the price for that, but we're not going to sell anymore because we need that. We need roots and teeth stones and vines and stuff for my, um, for my new armor and such. Okay, so that's way too cheap. Got it. So these need to be more expensive than 30. Let's try 100. There we go. We're actually doing really good on money. Broken sword. Probably don't need those. Let's do them for 100 each. Let's see how that goes. Honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory so I can go on adventuring again. But anyways, I think I'm going to call this episode here. Uh, Moonlighter is a pretty fun game, and we found the price for that. Alright, so thanks everyone for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below, and I will see you all next time. This is a really fun game. I can see myself playing this quite a bit. Bye!